Yeah. And if we run that now, it should work. So we click on build. Yes, it works fine. And now what we do is we go to the command prompt and we type write jar file as you can see here and it says file sami.txt is created and if we type sami.txt it says text uh, comma one character at a time just like up here text one character at a time so it's exactly uh, the same now we're gonna write the example to read um, the, the, the actual text file that we've created so here is what, the way we do it we start the same way again we we, we create a character uh, a variable called next and we create the the f um, a pointer called file underscore ptr which is the type file data type type file and we assign the same way as we are writing except this time we put the r so but we're going to now write Sammy, because we call we we should change the name into sami.txt so it should now open this file and read the content and and we do the test again to see if it actually um it did successfully find the file and did actually open it so we have the file pointer and we say not equals to null that means not equal to nothing as long as it's not unsuccessful then it would uh, open up the condition and we'll print file jars.txt in this case we're going to change it into sami because we've changed this example now sami.txt opened so now it's open and the contents of of that file starts a new line here so this would be in the second line content contents and then we used something called the while loop okay which we have did an example on before and we say one that means there is a character there is some uh characters inside at least one character in in uh, in in the uh, file okay so it would loop until it finds no more characters until it finds zero so while and then it goes to zero that means there's no characters in the file and it would exit and we put next so which we have the character character next and that takes in the, the the character that the file pointer is pointing to and it r r basically uh, f get c that will get the the actual value of file uh, pointers um, where it's pointing at the actual value and put it into next so it should take the first character that it finds in the file and put it into the variable called next okay so that, that's reading the text one by one and it's looping using the while loop and it keeps doing the check if next not equal to end of file that means as long as the next the, the, the character that it took isn't the end of the file then keep printing so it now it would print the character or, or you know that it's 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 inside next you print it and we put a percent c because it's a character type not an integer and it will print the next else if it is the end of the file it break you know just stop exit terminate the program if it if we reach the end and it will just keep looping that way okay and now we we close the file just like we showed you when we're writing in the file we close in it and the, we close it at the point the end point of the file which is file point pointer where the last part of it the end of the file it stops there and it closes that there so there you go it closes sami txt that, that line there this is what's inside that's what's inside the file pointer this section here and it stops it here else if all this was not successful that means unsuccessful or or in in creating or writing or s whatever here this is this statement is not true then it would go to the else and it would say unable to open file that means it couldn't find the file to open it therefore it would exit so now we're going to try running it and see what happens so we click on build build completed 
and now what did we call it? We called it read file, reading file. Okay, so we click on that and it says file sammy.txt is opened contents is text one character at a time so now we've done the reading up here writing and we've done the reading as well here so writing done this created the file and it didn't show us the content we had to type type sammy.txt and it gave us the the actual content of it but we also now wrote a program to read the file called reading file and it opened the file sammy.txt and it tells us the content is text comma one character at a time so that's that's that function of this program here